Welcome to our channel. Before we delve into today's topic, make sure to hit the subscribe button. In today's video, we're addressing a pressing issue that's been simmering beneath the surface of Canada's healthcare system, leading to widespread discontent and criticism, particularly aimed at the Trudeau administration. It's the family medicine crisis, a situation that's becoming increasingly dire, with federal funds marked as a good start but far from what's necessary to bring about significant change. At the heart of this crisis is a staggering number, 2.2 million Ontarians without a family doctor. This isn't just a number, it represents millions of people lacking access to essential healthcare services from preventive care to chronic disease management. The Ontario Medical Association, OMA, has flagged primary care as in crisis, emphasizing the dire need for action to ensure every Canadian has access to a family doctor. The challenges don't stop there. Across Canada, the Canadian Medical Association, CMA, highlights a critical shortage of family physicians with alarming statistics that underscore the urgency of the situation. Approximately 4.6 million Canadians were without regular access to a primary care provider as of 2019, a gap that's only widened with time. But what's causing this crisis? It boils down to several key factors. Burnout and administrative burden can be one reason. Family physicians are overwhelmed with administrative tasks, leading to burnout and a reconsideration of their career paths. The crisis in family medicine is not just about burnout and administrative burdens, it's also deeply rooted in a systemic shortage of family physicians, a disconnect in the healthcare system, and a lack of interest among new medical graduates in pursuing family medicine as a career path. This shortage is exacerbated by an aging population that requires more complex care, further straining the already overburdened family physicians who are crucial for providing comprehensive patient support and continuity of care. According to the Canadian Medical Association, the gap between supply and demand is stark, with a reported 2,400 family physician positions advertised across Canada in December 2021, yet only just over 1,400 family physicians entered practice from postgraduate training in 2020. This imbalance is compounded by the fact that the percentage of medical graduates choosing family medicine dropped from 38.5% in 2015 to 31.8% in 2021. As a result, approximately 4.6 million Canadians were without regular access to a primary care provider as of 2019, signaling a growing crisis that undermines the foundation of the healthcare system. Lack of new entrants is the second reason. The concerning trend of fewer medical graduates choosing family medicine, exacerbating the shortage, reveals a deeper issue within the healthcare system. Statistics Canada reported in 2019 that approximately 4.6 million Canadians did not have regular access to a primary care provider, underscoring the critical gap between supply and demand. By December 2021, 2,400 family physician positions remain unfilled, starkly contrasting with the 1,400 family physicians who entered practice after completing postgraduate training in 2020. This ongoing decline, highlighted by a drop in medical graduates selecting family medicine from 38.5% in 2015 to 31.8% by 2021, signals a pressing need for systemic changes to attract and retain family physicians. The aging demographic of current family doctors, with an average age of 49, further complicates the scenario, indicating that without immediate and effective interventions, the foundation of healthcare could weaken significantly, impacting patient care across Canada. Structural issues is the third reason. The Canadian Medical Association emphasizes the need to tackle structural issues plaguing the healthcare system, which not only deter aspiring doctors from pursuing careers in family medicine but also obstruct the effective delivery of primary care services. These structural barriers contribute to a growing mismatch between the supply of family doctors and the demand for their services, exacerbated by an aging population and an increase in chronic diseases. According to Statistics Canada, approximately 4.6 million Canadians lacked regular access to a primary care provider in 2019, a figure that starkly illustrates the depth of the crisis. Furthermore, 
a concerning trend has emerged wherein the number of medical graduates choosing family medicine has declined from 38.5% in 2015 to 31.8% in 2021, highlighting the urgent need for systemic reforms. This shortage is aggravated by the high burnout rates among current practitioners who face immense pressure from administrative tasks and the complex care needs of their patients, pushing many towards early retirement or a reduction in clinical hours. In response, the federal government has pledged billions in new funding to provinces and territories to improve health care services, including access to family medicine. However, this has not been without controversy. Critics argue that while the funding is a step in the right direction, it falls short of addressing the systemic issues plaguing family medicine, from the integration of electronic medical records to the need for a centralized intake and referral system. The controversy centers around the perceived inaction or insufficient action by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government to tackle these deep-seated issues, leading to frustration among healthcare professionals and patients alike. The OMA and CMA are calling for comprehensive reforms that go beyond mere financial injections. These include reducing administrative burdens, integrating healthcare systems, and fostering a more appealing environment for future family physicians. The goal is clear to ensure that family medicine can once again be the foundation of Canada's healthcare system. The family medicine crisis in Canada is a multifaceted issue that requires a concerted effort from all stakeholders. As Canadians, we must engage in this conversation, hold our leaders accountable, and advocate for a healthcare system that meets the needs of every citizen. It's not just about funding, it's about rethinking and reworking the very framework of family medicine for the future. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Together, we can be a voice for change. That's it for today. If you liked our video, consider donating from the link provided in the description. Thank you.